All right, for number three, so what we have with this one is it's just a quadrilateral. So there's just four sides. And uh, we don't know if it's a parallelogram, so we're not quite to that part yet when you get to the next ones. But <clears throat> So in a parallelogram, this is the unknown side here, x degrees, right there. Um, so much like, remember, triangles. So if you have a triangle, some type of a triangle, the three angles of a triangle, this one, this one, and this one. So if I add it up, A plus B plus C, that's 180 degrees. Because a triangle, all the angles add up to 180 degrees. When I'm looking at a quadrilateral, what we're really thinking is, I'm going to draw a line, but then I'm going to erase it quick, is if I were to split it up, it actually splits up into two different triangles. So all together, because like this little angle and this little angle... This one and this one are part of the other triangles. So I have two triangles, so I have two 180 degree things. So what I really have is, let's see. Well, let me, there we go. Um, I have then all four angles need to add up to, in a, in a four-sided figure, the angles add to 360 degrees. So then you're just gonna set it up and go, all right, 67 plus 115, these are degrees, plus 63 degrees, plus X degrees equals 360 degrees. And then what I need to do is, uh, since these are all numbers, I'm just gonna add those up on my calculator. And that adds up to 245 degrees plus X degrees equals 360 degrees. And then however you think about it, sometimes I like to put like a line down the middle to remember like that's my balance. Um, they're equal to each other, which means they're this, you know, whatever's on this side has to be exactly the same as to what's on this side. So then I'm thinking, all right, well, 245 pl plus what number is 360? Uh, and then the process we typically use is to say, well, I'm just going to do to one side the same exact thing. So subtract 245 from this side. Subtract 245 from this side. I write an equal sign just because I like to know that, like, hey, I did the exact same thing on both sides, and they're both equal to each other. So 245 minus 245 is 0. So I'll have 0 plus x. I mean, I can write it 0 plus x. Um, just normally we don't because it's like, well, it's like redundant to say 0 plus x. It's just going to be x equals, and then I go back to my calculator and go 360 minus 245. And that will be 115 degrees. So what I end up having is this angle here is also 115. Now if I added them all up again, so if I do 115 plus 115 plus 67 plus 63 on my calculator, they all add up to 360, which they're supposed to. So I know that I did that one right. The same idea goes for this. I know that all of the angles have to add up to 360 degrees. So I've got 5x, I've got 3x, that's a terrible looking x, x, and then i got to remember what what are those? What do those mean? And if you don't remember, you got to look it up. It means it's a right angle, but it also means that those are 90 degrees. 90 degrees is a right angle. So that'll be plus 90 plus 90. And then... I know I can combine these two terms because they're both counting x's. I have 5x's and 3x's for a grand total of 8x's. These can combine because they're just numbers. Plus 180 equals 360 degrees. And in an effort to solve for x, I have to get rid of the things that are furthest away first. So the 180 is furthest. The 8 is right next to it. That'll be the last thing I do. So I need to move to get rid of this 180. The 180 is being added, and I'm going to use inverse operations. Opposite of adding is subtracting. 
I have to do negative 180 to the other side to do the same thing to both sides. 360 minus 180 is 180. 180 minus 180 is zero, which I don't normally write. And I still have 8x. So I have 8x equals 180. And now I gotta get rid of this x. And I gotta look what's going on in between here. There's, it's not a plus symbol, it's multiplying. So the inverse of that will be dividing. Divide both sides by eight. Again, go to the calculator. Um, let's see, so eight goes into 18 twice, that's 16. And then 22.5 degrees. So that's X. Now if it asks you to find the angle measurements, I'd have to go back up here and this is 5x, so it's going to be 5 times x, which would be 5 times 22.5. So that angle would be 112.5 degrees. This one down here is times 3, so 22.5 times 3. That one would be 67.5 degrees. I think it just asked for x. Um, that'll do it. You should be able to hit the, the last one then. It's, again, same process. You have a quadrilateral. Um, we don't know it's a parallelogram or anything, so all we know is the interior angles of a quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees.